Well, hello, Twig. Long time no see. Hey, Plunge. Getting ready to uh, try out Toomba. I have not uh, streamed a PS1 classic game, so I figured I would try it. It's good to see you, Twiggy. Um, yeah, totally. Mostly just testing to see if I can get this to work. I got excited looking at some of the PS1 classic titles that are out there. I was watching a stream of Breath of Fire 3 on TikTok, and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot all about that game and how awesome it was. So it was like inspiring to see that. So I figured I would start with something simple, like a little platformer that you can't find really anywhere else. I think the company that created Toomba went out of business. So I figured that would be a good one to start with. It's wonderful to hear from you, Twig. Um, hope you uh, enjoy my little stream here. Oh, I better open my stream labels thing. So that automatically updates since you're my newest follower. Welcome to the family. Uh, here I am known as the effector of change. But uh, without ado, let us get our game started. Where are you, game? There it is. It's so funny to see PlayStation. <laughs> Only Entertainment America presents. This game is so good. It's sad that the team didn't go on to continue to make newer titles. Because, I mean, you know, there were a lot of limitations on that PlayStation. What you could do with the mechanics and everything. It's a pretty amazing game. Birdie. Mean birdie. Nom, 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 nom. And there's the geese. For us and the villagers. Thunder will not allow that. Wake up, Goomba, you're alive! Yeah. Alright, press start. We're gonna get him though. Such amazing graphics for the time. <laughs> Here we go. Hey, you with the pink hair. I've never seen you around here before. I used to live here, but it's changed so much. Oh, if you need any info, go to the small hut on top of the hill up ahead. This crazy old geezer lives up there. He should be able to help you out. Before you go, be sure to check all the signs. Local Visitors Bureau did a great job supplying info for visitors. To read the signs, press up on the direction. Oh, pad. Okay, by the way, what is with the pink Never mind. Don't want to know. 
see ya. Oh, on a demo desk? Sad. It is such a good game to complete. Don't be concerned. Stop stealing my mail. <laughs> you continue. I cannot be responsible for what might happen. Best regards, Mansion Proprietor. Word. Yeah, the second one's a good game as well. If you haven't played that one either, maybe I'll stream that after I finish this one. That one had some voice acting in it. It was interesting. What I need this for? Take me home. Oh, he probably goes to the pond. <laughs> Exercise. Climb walls. Press up and X. Climb up the wall. Explore the background. Yeah. Oh, heading off to the old man's hut already. Unfortunately, the fog is so thick you can't see a thing. Looks like you'll have to turn around. Do you dye your hair, or is it naturally pink? Uh, never mind. Only I had my nature survivalist mail order catalog. I'm sure it would be something I could order to get rid of this fog. Oh well, bye! Oh. Frog ran away. I think this is for later in the game. I think you can get some fuel for this little go-kart. He did. Yeah, I think he might have to go to the pond. I'll worry about him later. Can I go in here? Yeah. Hey, come back. Uh... What up, girl? Baby chicks. Chick acquired. Mad Pookie. Extra sugar TNT weapon workout. Hold down the zero. From the heat. Oh, that's not good. It was not horrible here today, but definitely getting there. Furious Thornado acquired. Use an item below. Something windy might do the trick. Like a furious tornado, perhaps? Yeah, the second game's really cute, because you go to this little winter area, because the ice pig froze everything, and you get these cute little baby chicks, and you have to clean the oil off them. They're so cute. Although definitely a challenge to get them all in their little cages in a certain amount of time. What's this side set here? Forest the beginning. Save. Sure. Now check in. So let me find that frog now that I can go over here. Where did he go? Come on, froggy. We'll be going here. What? You found me already? I was trying to hide from you. Well, since you found me, I'll give you a little hint. For the right of me behind this hut, there's a little pond. If you go up the hill above here, you can meet this crazy old coot. He's supposed to be some wise hundred-year-old man, but he just seems to mumble a lot to me. Who are you? 
Who am I? Never mind. Go see the places I just told you about, and we'll talk again later. Yay! Two level ups. The AP box. That's a lot of AP. Do not have that many points. You want to get past me? Ha ha! Can you swim? No, I can't swim. In fact, thought so. Mr. Turtle saved you this time, but next time you might not be so lucky. You can't go past the door here unless you can swim. Trust me, you're not up to it yet. Come back after you learn how to swim. Hey, you hungry? Why don't you take this with you? Bananas. There's a monkey, I think, who might want those bananas. My grandma used to play this game when I was a kid. It was really fun. We would take turns. And a juke. Hey! You can swing. Press the eggs. Easy. He's right here. I don't know if you can use this here. I don't remember when you're supposed to use the bananas. Wow, you'll give me your bananas? Thanks, you're not so bad after all. I was so hungry I couldn't move. My name is Charles. I know what I can do for you. I'll teach you a trick, okay? Press the square button to run together to run. It's called the Animal Dash. Got it? Yeah. So now I have speed. Go find the hundred year old man. It is kind of a fun little gimmick. So there's the hundred year old man, and then the thousand year old man. <laughs> the ten thousand year old man. It's kind of cute. Oops. Bro. The unfortunate thing about this game is if you do run out of lives, it's game over. You have to start all over again. I don't think you have that problem in the second version of the game. Chick required. It's locked!
what shall I do? Why, hello there. You're a cute little fella. Yes, I'm the hundred-year-old wise man. What can I do for you? Clear. Hmm. Oh, sorry, my mind is preoccupied with something else that won't. Would you do me a favor? There's something that just really is bothering me. You must have seen them on your way here, the red coca birds. Those darn birds steal eggs and try to raise them as their own. I feel sorry for the cute little chicks inside them. Could you go out and collect all the chicks from the eggs? What? You already found some. Looks like you didn't get all of them. Hmm. A missing one? OBS disconnected. Okay. I fixed it, I think. Uh, apologies. Uh, my internet just decided it was going to crash. And so the stream itself ended. My bad. But I think I fixed it. So. Let us uh, continue looking for these chicks. He says I don't have them all yet. So I wonder where the next one are. I already talked to this chick. Oh, there she is. I didn't want to talk to you yet, actually. See, I told you. I hope the old Google's out for me. People call me Yan of the Hidden Village. Seek. I like to hide from people. Usually they never find me. If you find me again, I'll give you more information. Don't expect it to be easy this time. This is going to be a lot of fun. Good old game of hide and seek. Well, good luck. See ya. Thanks. So he says I've not found all the chicks. Thank you, Plunge. My Wi-Fi internet just crashed, so all of OBS and everything just was just like, we're not gonna work. So, sorry. <laughs> I think I'll fix it. I need to find this other... Oh, here we go. There's the baby chick. Got it. That's a lift that I can't open yet. Okay. Yeah, it's the first time I've seen that happen, so I guess it is good to learn. What can happen? Did you find the chicks? Looks like you found them all. So where are the chicks? In my mouth. Very sanitary. Obviously this is pre covid <laughs> What? You kept them in your stomach? What else do you keep in there? Never mind. You don't need to show me. It's alright, really. Thanks to you, I have one less thing to worry about. Ah yes, you wanted to see me about something? So the coma pig stole your grandpa's bracelet. 
You want to know all about the comma picks, huh? Well, here's how the story goes. This was once a beautiful, peaceful land. Until seven evil pigs came. They suddenly appeared and used their powers to change this land into an ugly world. For some reason, the evil pigs seemed to be collecting gold. I bet your grandpa's bracelet that was stolen by the coma pigs was made out of gold, too. The seven evil pigs are hiding somewhere in this world. If you find them, I'm sure you'll be able to find your bracelet as well. Just remember, be very careful. Now that's what I know about the coma pigs. If you wish to retrieve your bracelet, you should make some friends. They'll be a great help. Of course, if there's anything I can do for you, just come back here. I seem to have lost my 100-year-old bell. I was going to give it to you. If you find it, return it to me, would you? In place of the bell, I'll give you this an ancient key. This old key is also 100 years old. Time goes by so fast. It's the only key that will open the 100-year-old chest. Ah, yes. You also need the evil pig bags. Of course, you need pig bags to defeat evil pigs. Without the evil pig bags, you won't be able to find their hiding places. Go ask the Dwarf Elder about the evil pig bags. You'll find them past the forest above here. He should be able to tell you everything you need to know about the pig bags. Now run along. Got it. I think there's a bunch of butterflies that we have to collect, if I'm not mistaken, for the jungle in the forest. Yeah. Evil pig bags. Trademark. The boss battles are kind of cute in this game, because you literally have to throw the pigs into the bags. <laughs> That's adorable. Now loading. Grug, 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 glub, glug. Beginner's dwarf language. Forest of hundred flowers. Save my data. Which level one? Oh, you bite them. Those are butterflies. Leaf butterflies. Which I guess. Yeah, I think you, there's a danger in the game when you defeat the evil pigs, the landscapes change. So I think this is the one of the ones where if you don't have enough butterflies, you're kind of screwed for part of it. I just can't remember exactly how many you need. Let's just collect a couple. And just know we won't defeat the evil pig until we know how many we need.
Oh no, I'm trapped. I'm gonna go with the big I can kinda understand them. And Rock. Rock Club. Big Club, but Club. Wow, you learned some of our language, but I still can't quite understand everything you're saying. I think if you jump on a dwarf and bite one more, you'll have mastered the language. can understand the language. We have a problem and don't know what to do. The dwarf forest was cast under a spell by the evil pigs. Flowers wilted, trees and mutated. Several dwarves have not returned from a recent hunting party. We suspect they might have been trapped by the giant spores. We can't move. The doors to the hut in the forest have been opened, but the deep forest is being guarded. The guards won't let anyone pass until the missing doors have been found. We must save the Path to the right leads to the Elder's house, everyone's busy, not a single dwarf returned. This is the dwarf village, some of the dwarves from the village are missing. Oh, yep. Have you seen a child, a small child? We went to go look for flower seeds at the watchtower and hasn't come back. I'm getting worried, we have something has happened. We need to find a lost child. Crump, what am I going to do without the, uh, hello, because I'm always walking up. Excuse me, I'm trying to deal with a problem here. I hit something very special in the forest. I'm afraid to go get it because of all those pigs. It's very important to me. I don't know what to do. I'll do about it. Help, help. Doors are missing. We open the doors to the hut. The forest and the path to watchtower. Go left. Thanks. My friend was caught by one of the spores on a tree. She's just hanging there. Can't reach her. Please help. Okay. Get over this in this hut. It's not returned home. Well, what a cute looking boy you are. I'm afraid you don't look very happy. I'm a doctor, so if you ever hurt yourself, come see me. Look, I'm kind of busy. Hey! She wasn't very serious, was she? number of butterflies is 30 but since there's already one in the cage you need to collect 29 they can be found running around the forest and the jungle oh i guess you can get them in the jungle too maybe i don't need to worry about it so you said they opened up the hut don't seem to want to help. Water drip in there. Ooh, pets. 
jumping fence of fire. Now I can jump further. I just need to jump on them. Yep. That was a good guess. this. Freaky looking baby home. more relevant when the forest is restored. You're the one that helped my boy. You have a very kind heart. Here, please take this. Cheese acquired. Delicious. I think that's for the mice. Is it this crystal ball? Oh. 
Maybe not, because I don't have the crystal ball. Must be for the witch. I think she makes candy or something, I can't remember. <laughs> Try again. I was too impetuous. Some in the other forest area, now that I remember. Just not having a good day. Oh, well, boomerang required. Oh, 
Puppy. I heard a puppy barking near his floor, I don't think he can get down. See the doctor, and it doesn't make total sense, but alright. Hopefully, there was more fruit in these. This little guy looks hurt. Let me take a close look. This will take some time to heal. Why don't you leave the pup here with me for a while? Don't worry. I'll take a turn. What's his name? What? He doesn't have a name. Can't you think of something? Baron? Alright. Baron it is. Man's best friend. Healing herbs will heal any kind of wound, but they only grow on Phoenix Mountain. It's too dangerous to go there now. The winds are too strong. He's quite a helpful pal. He helps you teleport around to the world when you're ready. Very helpful. I want to go... 
continue going that direction. Oh, maybe a fruit is going? Let us see. I mean, it did require a whole loading screen. Gonna save the game. Yay, pretty sloppy. Thank you. The dwarf elder is very pleased. You're so brave. You've made the entire dwarf village happy. Heck yeah. May I shake your hand? I think the pink hair is cool. You're a real local hero. Oh, you say the villagers. Thank you. Favorite apprentice. 
you meet the elder? Not yet. Ah, the courageous young man. I am the dwarf elder. On behalf of everyone in this village, please allow me to thank you for saving our friends and family. As you can see, our village does not have much, but I hear from the 100-year-old man that you are looking for the evil pigs. Ah, yes. Here it is. The evil pigs. This is the evil pig bag for the pig that cast a spell on this village. The bag will help you find the evil pigs. When you're near the hideout, the bag will reveal the evil pig gate and the entrance to his hideout. But remember, evil pigs do not hide in their places where they have cast their spells. Each pig has only one bag that can seal them away. In other words, it's a total of seven evil pig bags, one for each evil pig. The evil pig bag should be near the places that have been cast into the spell. Find the bags, and you will find the evil pigs. Be careful. You must not underestimate the power of the evil pigs. There's no need to guard the deep forest anymore. You may pass as you please. Well, first try Phoenix Mountain. It used to be a really restful mountain, but now there's all those awful storms. Must be the work of the evil pigs. We can defeat our first boss. Until I play Final Fantasy, not how much I save. I don't know. <laughs> This game, you have to eat frowny fruit and happy fruits in the jungle. I think this is the one. It might be the second one. If it is, it's kind of a cool mechanic. Laughing forest, I think it's called. Murdered.
Just looking at the beautiful figures makes my soul feel cleansed. Broken fountain. Is that what the butter bucket's for? Found me already, you won't find me next time. So this is the guy that needs the 29 butterflies. Okay. So this is the other side. Whoop. Other side of the water. Got it. There's nothing up there, miss. So if you don't collect the butterflies now, you have to wait until you unlock the jungle to get the butterflies you need. Which is kind of annoying. I'm gonna get some butterflies now.
Now you're being stingy. Bye again. Anymore. Yeah. All right. 
Let's go. Maybe, maybe it's not there. Maybe there's an incremental quest where you collect some and then you gotta go get water bucket for the fire that's just kind of chilling up here. I don't remember. on the loop. Butterfly. So I think we will look at go defeating our blue bird guy. This, this, ain't, this ain't happening. <laughs> Does go on the fire. Somebody's gonna want this big team. You know what's gonna happen? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It's okay. We've got seven more lives. Hopefully we don't die more. Wonder if we get more HP for defeating the pigs. I don't remember. They do give you some kind of abilities. Or maybe that's the other game. You get these little jackets and these special powers. Each pig has a different power. It's kind of cool. Let's see. Like the dwarf said, the evil pig does not hang out in the area they cursed. And this is the only other area I've unlocked, so I'm thinking he's around here somewhere.
Is there another chest over here? There might have been. Bell. Treat. Oh, these birds are starting to respawn. That's good. make these jumps easy. There's a new hit point. So they're in chests. Good to know. It's a free teleport back to the opening area of the game. Hey, buddy, got your bell. Oh. Yep, brings it to him. You still have quite a way to go. Be patient, don't get hurt. All right. Yeah, Plunge was saying the same thing. <laughs> this was one of my favorite games. I used to play, um, take turns with my grandma playing it growing up as a kid. Okay. 
I thought I saw um, Twiggy earlier. My Wi-Fi crashed, so unfortunately it kicked everybody out. <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Things have been things have been good this week. Yes, the Wi-Fi said no. How dare you wanna stream games? I got inspired by some uh TikTok streamers. I was like, I want to stream some of these old games. That sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely, definitely is a vibe. I hate these spiders. And I think Plunge was here, um, for one of my streams not too long ago, and the uh, camera just stopped working out of nowhere. It was fun. Shuts off. <laughs> is it, I guess it's rule 34. Is not 34. Um, is that rule 34? If something bad will happen, it will. No, Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law. Yes. So Crimson, are you ever going to get back into streaming? I saw on your Discord there was some streams in the past. A mountain up ahead. Stormy mountain. Dangerous. Strong winds. I'm afraid in this place. But what are the other? It's really boring. Gives me some time to practice. What practice? Well, my dream, to become a famous actor. I want to be an actor that can make people laugh and cry, but it is really hard. I'm not sure how to express my emotions. <laughs> the world's greatest smile. Alright, so we can't go on the mountain. So that is a bust theory. This is a new area. I've not been here yet. See treasure chest. Bye. All right. There's the laughing mushroom. You know, I gotta work on this. Cozy stream on the vibe. We need. Yes. I was streaming for a little bit the new um, Final Fantasy XIV mode. Ow. You are not my friend. <laughs> oh. Stormy pickback. Do you feel that? You just felt the evil spirit inhabiting Phoenix Mountain. That's proof that this mountain has been cast from an evil spell. If you ever feel something like that again, that means the place you're under is, is under a spell. Look for the evil pickbacks. Key to finding the bags is to search the areas that have been cast under the spell. 
it is a cool art style. I put on the um, scan lines, because without it, it just kind of looks funny in this emulator. Let's see if I can put it on without them. So that's no scan lines. This is a I like it. It kind of, kind of makes me think of an old CRTV. Bro, heal me. Yeah. It sure was meant to be on CRTV. All the mole people! Oh, I'm all that. I told you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, you just had to go to the jungle now, didn't you? Well, I heard that the giant bird that lives on this mountain can take you there. The phoenix. It's been a long time since he's been known as the master of the stars. Ah, uh, achoo! Ugh, I can feel a cold coming on already. They kind of look like minions, don't they? Hey, wait for me. What's the rush? Wait. Trust me, you should get down from this mountain right away. But I need to fight you the things. Oh, that healed me. I need to, I think, go back. Figure out how to cure this sadness. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, if you haven't followed me on the Twitter, there is a link right there from Streamlabs. Feel free to check that out. Oh, this guy. Hi there. Ha ha ha, we meet again. Did you want to ride on my boat? Okay, but I'm pretty busy, so I can only take you one way. I didn't want that. I know, getting like, I'm pretty sure that would give you nightmares. You are correct. <laughs>
hoping that might heal me. It did not. This game is extremely mysterious. Well, welcome to the stream, Spyro the Hedgehog. <laughs> it is a bit of a mysterious game. This is uh, Tomba, an adventure platform for the PlayStation 1. Um, a lot of people's familiarity, it seems, was, uh, I guess it was included as um, a demo with the original PlayStation. And so a lot of people played the intro, but didn't quite get a chance to marvel in all the glory that is in the platformer. <laughs> yeah, it is a strange one. Have you played the uh, second one, Spyro? Yeah, the second one was good. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> With the pink hair, don't forget the pink hair. He is Goku Ask. I was Googling because I was making my overlay for this stream. So I was Googling like Tomba art. There isn't a lot out there. Um, but what I was starting to find was like Tomba being really, really jacked. It was creepy. Very creepy. That's that's room 34. Be careful. <laughs> Forgotten to the ages, things for real became Asians. Maybe it is possible. Well, you bite them too, as you can see. When I was learning the dwarf language, you literally have to bite the dwarves to learn their mysterious language. And I think he gets little DNA off the piggies, depending on what kind they are. I just can't remember if it's this game that you get the uh, magical gear from the pigs, or if it's the second one. Okay, it's not that funny, Goomba. Is it the second? Point. I'm 
Okay. Is this a new No, it's just a block. That's the loose slider. Okay. Camp it. I think once you fix the fountain, it might heal you? I can't remember. Let's not take the boat one way on accident. It was not correct. That looks like a normal mushroom. Mountain top. This place is terrible. If it wouldn't blew me up there, and I got caught. I don't know what I would have done if it hadn't, if you hadn't shown up. Ah, oh, jeez, my pants are torn. I can't go anywhere like this. What if someone sees me? It's too embarrassing. I had an extra pair of pants today, but I lost them in the wind. You've got to find them. Though. Poor Charles, you need pants.
the lunchbox. I think I used that to heal. Cover sunlight. I'm digging a tunnel. I mean, a brag, but no one can dig as well as I can. But it is bigger. Oh, stop now. You keep looking at me with such admiration. I'm gonna blush. Anyway, when this tunnel is finished, I'll be digging another one somewhere. Stop by to say hello. So that, you need a frowny face. Smile. Or a happy face, sorry. When the wind dies down, it's an elevator. Ouch. Healing herbs. That's for Baron. I fell down the hole. Oh, crap. trying to get to the jungle? Forget it. I've heard stories of the phoenix taking people to the jungle too, but that was when he was young and healthy. Now that the storms here, he can't even find anything to eat. Who knows where he'll end up? I jumped on it. Ouch. I'm falling down. The mouse big bag. You can't leave the forest, it's too dangerous. There are monsters called Bonsoji in the Bashu Forest. He scared me, all of a sudden he just fell from the sky. Say, you're new. Welcome to Bacchus Village. Central Park, that's town hall. He's where? Oh dear, what are we gonna do? 
missing mouse. We have a missing mouse to report. A real baby mouse is missing. This is a real baby mouse and not a former human like yourself. This must be found immediately. Anyone with information from the baby should notify Town Hall. We'll come and pick it up. Okay. game. Where is the baby mouse? Stop staring at me like that. We may look just like now, but we're human, just like you. You saw me, didn't you? Hmm, that's weird. You're not scared. As you can see, I look like a mouse. Most people scream and run when they see us. Of course, we're not really nice. The evil pigs cast us out in the village and turned us into them. Well, we keep big cats on so that we not scare others. Say, hey, you are traveling, aren't you? I'm a favor. I'm a collector of sorts. I collect all kinds of things, but I can't seem to find any cheese. If you ever see any cheese during your travels, can you bring it back to me? I promise to give you something you like in return. Let's say when you collect ten slices of cheese, you come back and see me. I'll be waiting right here. Some cheese, please. Did you come to the Phoenix Mountain? That place has changed a lot since it was cast on this spell. Yes. Reread it. Ain't nobody in there. With such a small body, I start to feel dizzy real quick. What's wrong with this guy? All he's been doing is drinking milk. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Ah, that's the last baby. Wine from my leg is the best. Squeak, squeak, you saw me, didn't you? Okay. Oops. It's meant to go up. I didn't even dream of being replaced. We'll go pick them friendly. Can you check again the bulletin board? Adventure wanted. The pump at the lake is broken. There's not enough wine in this village. You need to experience a venture to go to the Bacchus Lake and fix the pump. Looking for greatest challenge. You're not afraid of the haunted mansion. Uh -huh. A drink for grown ups. He will show me the way, because they want their wine. An essential nutrient, of course. The haunted big bag. This was kind of a cool stage, because it, I mean, it is like a 2D platformer in some ways. But you can go 360 degrees around the house depending on the angle is really neat.
Yay. What are you having for dinner, Crimson? Chicken, drumsticks, rice, and soup. Nice. Sounds yummy. I went out and had Thai this evening. It's delicious. I don't care. I've tried to fix it, but I'm just not strong. There's a hole, so it's supposed to be placed there. Switch is on. So haunted. Take pets. Turn the switch on. Looks like that did the trick. Let's head back. Ooh, a smoothie. I haven't made a smoothie in a long time. Way to railroad me, Mr. Mouse Man. It's also only one direction, so you notice I, I mean, he's kind of gatekeeping, but you can only go around the house in one circular direction. Of course, this the town hall. <laughs> Just kind of lending it up. <laughs> it's definitely a way to get kids to eat things that they normally don't want to. I don't know how we can thank you. Oh, there's plenty of wine. Feel free to take as much as you want. Anytime. But not for you? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. What's next? Dear Tomba, if you ever have any problems in Phoenix Mountain or elsewhere, please feel free to contact the nearest mouse. We will help you in any way we can. Good luck in your travels. Sincerely, residents of Oxford. Yes. No, but we may not always be able to solve your problem. Room in the mansion. By the way, as the fortune teller returned to it, ooh, the pimp. The good veggie eaters from this fire, it makes it. Yeah, yeah, it does. One of the men of time is trapped in the mansion. Ooh, the next one, the thousand year old man. Thanks to you, we have wine again. Lots of rooms in the mansion. Explore every one. You should check the announcements in Central Park frequently. I am a fortune teller who can see people's future experiences. Normally, fortune tellers will only speak to those with high AP levels, but since I'm still in training, I will look at your fortune. Pink is somewhere really hot. Green is the mansion in the lake. Red is waiting in the room. I think that was hints to where the pigs are.
and stop blocking me. Where does this go? Oh, the mountain. Beautiful. Oh, I like candles. Yeah. 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 Save data. Guess we'll explore the mansion. Oh, no, I guess you can go that direction. I think the music in this game is actually pretty good. Especially for how old it is. Hey, what do you think? This is a real unusual painting. Kind of looks like there's an indentation. I wonder if we're supposed to insert something. Come to think of it, there's a door with a large gill somewhere in this building. I wonder if this has anything to do with that. Painting of a big key. She's having a rainbow baby? What's a rainbow baby? Doesn't do anything yet. I think that might be the elevator that takes you to this kind of I do 
and four pieces. Then I think it is. Yep. <laughs> so what's a what's a rainbow baby, Crimson? Not enough experience. Okay. I don't remember what that does. Oh, that's a wonderful thing. Eventually you learn to spin. I think the mermaid teaches you. Yeah, good news is really nice to hear. It's rare sometimes. To know that's there, he will see you. Shabut. I think I got all the pieces of the key. Bro, give me your key. I have to take all the eggs out to unlock them. Is the room up front? 
I don't remember where the key is. <laughs> Yeah, moving from 2D to 3D, it's weird, especially in this part, when you're moving around this house. Oh, this one There's a fifth panel. 
Oh. I thought I had the thing. <laughs> Nope, it's just the part. Hey, Boca, how are you? Never played Tumba before. Nope. I'm completely lost. <laughs> Maybe he's in this big room over here. Got cookies, feeling good, no idea what this is. Oh, that's cool. Yep, this is Tumba. It is a platformer game for the PlayStation 1. Came out, I think, 96, 97? Ah, oh, you're back. Looks like he was right, too. So you want to hear about some evil pigs? The evil pigs use very powerful magic and work an entire area in their control. However, they need an enormous amount of gold to produce this magic. They must be gathering all this gold in one place. If you find this place, I'm sure you'll find your granddaddy's priest. Oh, here. Give me your key. Here's the present. Let's keep looking all the 1,000 year old chests. Perfect. You'll find what you need to get beyond Phoenix Mountain in a thousand year old treasure chest. I think I left it at the mountain, but remember, it's a special technique in getting through the lava caves. The flames from the lava inside the caves will also be a problem. There's nothing you can do until you find the evil pig bag and cast the spell to seal them away. The green evil pig bag will reveal the evil pig cake. Search the lava caves for the bag. I can see in your eyes. You will become stronger. Just don't lose your courage. First, you should climb this stand of the sun torch somewhere near this building will show you a new power. After that, you must use your own strength to find your way. Word. Take care of yourself. You'll meet you have some friends of mine up ahead. But be careful of the 10,000 year land. He's not a bad man, but uh, well, you'll find out. Good luck. Thanks, bro. Well, I can get some treasures now. I can only remember where the treasure chests were. <laughs> so we'll just go open every door again. It's fine. It's cool. Oh, this is the healing fountain. Remember that. So the healing fountain's by the big door. Good to know.
Hey Plunge, did you ever play um, a game on the PS1 called Azure Dreams? Have you ever played uh, the PS1 game Azure Dreams, A-Z-U-R-E? Me and the Shyness, I live here now, that's right. <laughs> This is a cool game. Speaking of like experimental PS1 era, it's kind of like uh, what Dark Cloud became, or what became Dark Cloud. It was kind of a randomized dungeon, and then when you completed tasks in the dungeon, you would have these little uh, creatures that you would collect, and they were random. And then you would like design your house and you would decorate it and do all sorts of interesting things. Red did the power, drill fire acquires. Dark Cloud is a cool game. Drill the power fire. Maybe I should put this? I liked putting the village back together. That to me was more enjoyable in the game. Come back here later. I do want to go give those herbs to bear. Let's use our charity rings. That runs useful. Still alive. Well, at least Baron's wings are healed now. Sweet. All I need is some food and rest. There's nothing that can beat the taste of fruit from the tree of knowledge. Hmm. Oh, free wings. Sweet. I think there was a treasure in the original in the mansion.
Care, don't care. So we
back to the mountain I go. Yeah. I don't need to go yeah. for the yeah. Let's see our game. Oh, uh, yeah. my pads for Charles, too. Done with your hole yet? That is not the chest I'm looking for. These things really creep me out, just the way they look. <laughs> They're flesh colored, I don't like it. <laughs> we should have used the like a plant scheme. Anything but whatever they used. <laughs> Ooh, there's a little door down there. I died, but there's a door down there. <laughs> I think I will wait until I clear up this door before I try to get the acrobatics down there. Oh, you bitch. I seriously don't know if this is where I really need to be. Just follow me to the old man said. Phoenix is right. Was there? Oh, there is a chest. Wait a minute. That's a thousand year old key right there in your hand. I see. So the old man finally found something that was worthy enough. Well, I guess my job done then. Don't have a clue as to what's in there, but take good care of whatever it is. Yeah. 
<laughs> Guess that was not the correct path to take. I think we can. try to get into that cave and then I'm gonna go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end here anyhow, because this mountain is kicking my butt. So, let us Oops. go visit the 100 year old man, save our game, and we will pick up from here. Oh, absolutely. I usually post uh, on Twitter. Obviously, um, the Twitch will give you that notification as well. And then I usually will post the video of demand on YouTube typically the next day or whatever I stream, so you're welcome to check out my YouTube channel as well. It's big enough of the YouTubes. But uh, yeah, thanks uh, for joining me on this little test stream of Toomba, one of my favorite platforming games of the PlayStation era. It's been a pleasure hanging out with y'all. Thank you. Have a good night. Get some sleep. And we'll continue gaming later. I am Effector of Change. Have a good night.